Okay, so uh, today I'm just going to be showing off my current setup uh, right now with Windows and Sling UI. And I'm going to be talking about just some things that I like and just how I've kind of thought about things differently over the years. Okay, so this is my current setup right now with uh, Celine UI. It's a kind of like a desktop environment on Linux, except it's for Windows and it's very nice. You can see there's a nice little top bar with quick settings, uh, logout, stuff like that. Brightness, uh, that doesn't work. Um, and then uh, volume controls and you can access the Sling UI settings right here and you can see it is pretty customizable. I, it's pretty good. You can see you can change things per monitor, and yeah. So I like that. Uh, Fifty-two bars nice. I like being able to have a quick user folder open like that, and I like having some workspaces I can swap in between. I have nothing on the ones right now. Um, yeah, and I like having a little active window widget right here, showing Explorer and stuff like that. The docs also very nice. Shows all the running applications. You can have some pinned applications like, like VS Codium right here. This is my Codium setup. Uh, I like using VS Code, but I really don't like how the Microsoft tracking. And also, I there's really no difference between the two. So like, why not just use the the FOSS one? You know, um, yeah. So yeah. So here's my. Yeah, you can you can see the window manager and uh in full fact i can so yeah i'm gonna open up a few windows uh like a file explorer terminal you uh, run it using power toys run you can see my specs see how they're used and they're gonna tile in the bspwm master stack layout you can see tiling using the golden ratio very nice very consistent Huh, I don't know, my, my quit bind wasn't working there for a second. So yeah, nice little trans, transparent terminal. Start menu looks like this. I really would like it to not like darken behind, but I don't know a way to change that using Windhawk, because that's just what I use to change the start menu. There's I really never use the start menu. Um, I just use the Power Toys run to run an app like Discord. It's taking forever to launch. Um, yeah, so I use that, or I use uh, some hotkeys um, that I have set up. Like I have Win C to open Codium, Win Q to quit, Win T to open up Terminal. But I have a Terminal window open, so it will not make a new window. So yeah, I like it. Um, I think it's very usable. It uh, having it's really uh, increased my productivity. Because p before I was not using this, I was using uh, Comarebic with uh, with the Yaz. Hold on, I'll sh kind of show it off. Okay, so I exit out of Celine. Uh, see, there's no window management. I open a uh, Foxware window. You can just kind of it's floating right now. So I turn on Yaz. Yeah, sometimes I use this in, in case it's not showing up on uh, use the start menu in case it's not showing up in the uh, Power Tours run and you can see my Yasm setup um, Open up a terminal Nope Yeah, so you can see this is my Previous setup using Comarebic. Yeah, you can see I have a little workspaces switcher right here. Um, and a taskbar which you can show the current apps open, like I'll open Yuzu. Um, and there's, uh, you can see, like, you can swap between an apps. If I minimize this, you can reopen it. It's nice. I like it. But it just felt like kind of janky a little bit. I don't know why. I just felt janky using it, and so I'd constantly rice. I'd constantly rice it. Like I'm into config gas. 
I don't know why the, uh, yeah, this is my, I don't know why there's an error with my NV chad. Let's see, I do new, and then I control W. Anyway, I'm new to them. I'm not really, don't use it that much. I could just like, I change how things look. Like I, like I changed how these look. Cause originally there's like this background that I really hated, even though I changed the, the widget background color to this, it just, it kept it for some reason. I don't know why, but you know, it's not too bad. So I, I kind of, I like this setup, but like it just felt janky and weird and disjointed. So I just stopped using it and Stopped using it and switched to Celine. It's been serving me very well. No hiccups, no issues, no nothing. Um, I'm loving it. And you may have noticed that it looks very similar to GNOME. Um, and I, I really do love GNOME. Um, I use it on my Fedora install that I have on this machine. Um, so that similarity doesn't really bother doesn't like bother me I, though I know some people really hate how gnome looks and stuff and you know that's fair that's valid everybody has their thoughts of their own opinions um so if you really hate how gnome looks then you might not want to use um Celine unless you really know how to make um a skin or like a theme because I really want to make my own theme but it was like, it was really complicated. It was uh, stupid complicated. Uh, when I used it a couple months ago, it wasn't that complicated. It's just one uh, YAML file. But, you know, I guess things change and then project changes, you know? Um, but even just like having Selene has made me think differently about Windows. So I used to be like a, a totally like anti Windows pro Linux guy. Um, uh, but then I made a commit to myself because I had a bunch of games I wanted to play with friends that only worked on Windows. I'm going to stick with Windows. I said that in about, I think, beginning of August and so far I've stuck with it. I haven't like reinstalled Windows or anything. Um, I've just, I've deleted my account and made a new one. Just kind of, I wanted like a small refresh, but I saved all the files I wanted and it worked out. It worked out good. Um, it just like, Having this has made stopped me from like rising and like made me think and want like a Linux machine because the whole reason why I was using Linux was because I really loved the customization that I had. Like you can like change your DE, your WM, stuff like that. And Celine UI really has just like fixed that for me. Like I don't really like have the have the need or the want to rice anymore. And I just installed Fedora on a different hard drive on this system. And I just, like, didn't see a reason why I should use it compared to my Windows machine. Because my Windows is already fully set up. It's, like, how I really like it with Celine. And it's just, like, ultra-usable. And I didn't see any reason why I shouldn't use it. So, I, yeah, I just maybe think differently about Windows. And, like, stop my mind from, like, being completely anti-Windows. Which is good because I use it every day. But, yeah, so Celine really has done a lot good for me, but, like, there's some things I'd really like to change. Um, just, like, things I would like to see in Celine. Like, you can see, like, the settings, even though there are a lot of them, they're pretty bare bones. Like, you can't really, like, like, these are just the general settings. Like, there are two themes come pre-installed, and, like, the other one looks like this, which I think... It looks good, but it's just not how I like it to look. So I hate this, like, little white border on it. So, yeah, I like it, like, in this a solid bar. But, like, there's really no customization with the fancy toolbar. I did move the clock from, like, right here, how it normally is, to the, to the middle. But, like, there's no way to, like, add more separators. Because, like, this is a thing. You can move this around. You can't add any more of those anywhere that I've seen. Like, it's just there. And I really would like to add one, like, 
in between each of these system tray icons and in between the workspaces and the clock, but there's no way to do that. The window major settings are pretty verbose. You can change like the layout to a wide grid BSP. You know, it's fine. There's nothing bad about the window management. I like the BSPWM layout quite a bit. And the dark, uh, dark customization, very nice, very usable. Like you can have it um, full width. See, it looks like that. And you can pin things to like this side or right here. Um, I like it min content. I just like how that looks. There's like a little clean dock and you can change. You see how it like kind of expands like the Mac OS dock. The wall is like a Celine ex exclusive like wallpaper thing. I really don't understand why anyone would use that compared to normal windows or wallpapers. Cause like I have like, I, th I think like 300 photos. That I have on my Windows one for gonna be just a huge pain to configure it in Celine. Um, I don't know. I really don't know what this does. I don't know what uh, this app launcher is. In space. Well, I'm, let me see what it does. So. Yeah, there's nothing. Oh, but it made the Celine. <laughs> but it made Celine crash. And even if I, it looks like it's just like, uh, like a power tours run kind of thing. And I don't know why you wouldn't just use power tours run. Everybody should have power tours installed by default. And then shortcut. And so I don't know why anybody wouldn't have power tours. And like the key bindings just like so intuitive. Alt and space are right by each other. You can use it with one finger. I like to use two, but yeah, it just, I don't know why anybody would use that, and it has good memory, you can do like math, search files, search programs, services, yeah, I don't know why anybody wouldn't use this, so yeah, per monitor stuff, and then it's apps you can make, uh, you can make them float and stuff, which is good, because some apps, uh, I really want to float, like say I have, oh, uh, hold on. Let's say I have. Hold on. Say I have a Codium window open. And I have this little Python program that I'm working on right now. And I run it. It's tiled. And it's meant to be a certain width and height. And so it really breaks. You have to like minimize this. And even then, it's like too big. Because the canvas. This little border should be the edge of the window, and yeah, I might look into that, but, you know, it's just some things I'd like to see. Yeah, but something's good, but there's just, yeah, those are the things I just wanted to see, and yeah, thank you guys for just, like, hanging out and uh, listening to me ramble about my thoughts about Celine UI and how... I really do love it, and if the creator sees this, uh, I really love the things that you're doing with Celine, and I and I love just how you're working on it. Uh, so thank you, and yeah, that's it. Goodbye.